Good morning. I hope you're well. This morning I want us to consider Caleb in the Old Testament and, and the courage that, that he showed. And uh, and one verse in particular in, in Numbers uh, chapter 13 verse, verse 30 says, But Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. I wonder if you've if you've ever thought about about how many things are kind of collapsible uh, these days. You know, high chairs are, are collapsible, computers are, are collapsible. We've we've got this camping table that that collapses down, so you can get it around easy. Ladders are, are collapsible, and 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 these things are really helpful because when we're not using them, we just collapse them and and put them away for for a more convenient time and. And then when we need it, we bring them out and set them up and and put them put them to good use. Um, but but these days, you know, there's there's also something else that is collapsible and and it's much more profound than than a high chair or or a ladder. And and, and that's our courage. You know, often we can just go into ourselves, and and we make so many decisions based on on courage. You know, we we've the choice to either either be courageous and, and go after what, what God wants us to go after or to collapse under pressure or under fear. And, and God tells us, though, that he wants us to be, to be men and women of courage. And, and courage really is, you know, by, by definition, the, the ability to, to stand, to, to stand and, and, and to stand for God. And, and and there in, in Numbers chapter thirteen, you know, Moses sends out twelve spies will will know the story well and he sends them out to, to check the, the land that, that God promised to give them. And and ten of the twelve spies were, were collapsing. You know, they were they were collapsing their courage. T- ten of them saw the external, but but two of them saw the eternal. And, and that was Joshua and, and Caleb. And then in Numbers 13, the, the verse we read, you know, Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, we should go up and take possession of the land for we can certainly do it. And and it's so easy for us to say, you know, we, we can't do that. It's, or oh, that's too difficult or it's too expensive or it's, it's too different. But, but the reality is that, that being courageous can be lonely. But we are not ever alone. You know, having courage is, is going where God says to go, even when it looks like there's no way to get there. So God bless you. Have a great day.